Welcome to the video lecture series of Digital Image Processing. Today's topic is Lossless Predictive Coding. Lossless Predictive Coding is a type of lossless image compression algorithm. And what is lossless compression? Lossless compression is where an image is being like compressed but without the loss of data. There is no data loss. Therefore, lossless compression algorithms are commonly used in such applications where reliability and preservation of data is very crucial. However, compression ratio is small in comparison to the lossy compression. So, there are various lossless compression algorithms which are run length coding, Huffman coding, Shannon Fano coding, arithmetic coding, dictionary based coding and all of these types of codings have been explained in the previous video lectures. Let us begin today's lecture which is about lossless predictive coding. This technique which is lossless predictive coding, it eliminates the inter pixel dependencies by predicting new information which is obtained by taking the difference between the actual and predicted value of the pixel. So, it is based on the difference between the actual and predicted value. Here, what the function actually is? There is a requirement of encoder, predictor and what does the encoder does? Encoder takes a pixel of the input image that is fn. Predictor predicts the anticipated value of that pixel using past inputs. Past inputs means historical data. Then predicted value is rounded off to the nearest integer value which is known as predicted value and it is denoted as f n cap. Now the error which is actually the difference between the actual and predicted value. So what how the error is being represented? This is nothing but en and en is equal to what fn which is actual value and predicted value is fn cap. And then this error is sent across the channel and the same predictor is used at the decoder side. See this is a very important point. The same kind of predictor must be used in the decoder side to predict the value. So here the reconstructed image, reconstructed image can be written as what? fn will be the sum of error plus predicted value which is fn cap. So this is how image can be reconstructed and these steps can be plotted into a form of block diagram. Let us discuss that also. See in this particular diagram, all the steps which I have discussed that have been summarized, there is an input sequence and a predictor is required. What this predictor will do? It will predict the anticipated value and this nearest integer value is being identified, then it is being compared and accordingly the error signal is being generated which will be sent to the symbol encoder and finally at the output, the compressed sequence will be received. So this is about the steps have been drawn in the form of the block diagram. In this case, you must remember some of the important point. The most crucial part is the design of a predictor. Designing a predictor is the most crucial part. Otherwise, if there is any like discrepancy, there is any error, then overall the compression algorithm will be diluted. The prediction by a linear predictor taking a linear estimation of the previous n bits, previous n bits, it can be given as what? Mathematically, it is written as fn cap, which is round, since this is rounded off to the nearest integer, summation i starts from 1 to m, alpha i f of n minus i. So this is how it can be written as and here what is m? m is the order of the predictor 
order of predictor as a function as a function therefore one dimensional linear predictive coding can be written as one dimensional linear predictive coding let us write fn cap xy this is equal to what round summation for all terms i1 to m alpha i f x y minus i this is how you can write it off and the presence of a quantizer what is this its presence takes the prediction error into a limited range of the output and the prediction at the source and the destinations are equal then the corresponding quantized error can be written as quantized error it can be written as what fn is equal to en plus fn cap so this is how it can be explained theoretically now let us discuss with the help of a example how lossless predictive coding is actually being performed on any given set of pixels here a set of pixel is being given now you have to demonstrate the predictive coding so while doing such type of questions first you need to draw a table means along the column you must place the values and then corresponding predictive coding means symbols and their predictive coding difference need to be plotted see the values given over here is 23 34 39 47 55 and 63 so what is the predictive coding let us write first value is 23 Second is thirty four, so this would be what thirty four minus twenty three. This is coming out as eleven. Then thirty nine minus thirty four is equal to five. Then forty seven minus thirty nine, which is equal to eight. Next is fifty five minus. Forty-seven, which is equal to eight again. Then last one is sixty-three minus fifty-five, which is equal to eight. So here there are some important points which you must remember. You can see the maximum value in original sequence. Sequence maximum value. in original sequence this is what 63 and to code this particular 63 it requires six bits it requires six bits plus one more bit is required for the sign plus one bit for sign it means number of bits required to code the original message it means number of bits required to code original message this is equal to what six symbols are there six pixels are there into each and every pixel requiring seven bits it means total is 42 but now let us discuss what happens in the case of the predictive coding 
in case of predictive coded sequence predicted coded sequence here you can see the maximum value is what 23 maximum value is 23 so to code this 23 only 5 bits are required 5 bits plus 1 bit for the sign it means total 6 bits are required number of bits total number of bits required here would be this is what there are 6 pixels into 5 plus 1 6 bits are required for each and every case it means total 36 bits are required now you can compare both the cases this is the case for the original 42 bits now after applying predictive coding 36 bits it means you can see it saves 6 bits it saves 6 bits you can see the compression over here so this is how predictive coding works and you can calculate the number of bits required and accordingly you can see the compression since here a sample is being taken which is very small in size only 6 pixels are there but you can imagine if the image size is very large then how much compression can be done over there there is an important point see if the difference crosses the threshold limit it creates a problem which is known as overloading this is a problem which may occur in the case of the predictive coding and what is the solution of this problem the solution is to ignore the differences and use the original message for the coding let us understand this with the help of an example consider the pixels six pixels have been mentioned over here now you have to draw the sample symbols and their predictive coding difference so symbols value and their predictive coding difference is being plotted in this particular table you can see the values originally given as 23 64 39 47 55 and 63 and predictive coding has also been mentioned over here as we have discussed for the original sample how many bits are required you can see there are six pixels maximum value of the pixel is 63 so it requires 6 bits to code it plus one more bit for the sign so this is what 6 into 7 which is 42 it means 42 bits are required in the original one but here you see there is a term 41 if you ignore this maximum value can be like code with the 5 bits but what will happen if you are taking this 41 as the highest one again 6 bits are required and there is no compression so what will happen in this particular case so if difference crosses the threshold limit so in this particular case what is to be done besides adding additional bits for all the additional messages here you can see one two three four five these five samples means after what will happen five samples will be coded as what maximum value is five plus one more bit for the sign so this is what five into six which is coming out as 30 but here one value is being left which is 41 so its original value is being taken and it is being like coded with the 6 pixels sorry 6 1 so 1 pixel it requires 
six bits to code the original message plus one for the sign bit. It means this is one into seven. This is coming at seven plus seven. So this overall value you are getting as thirty seven. See, you can see the difference. Originally forty two, and after applying predictive coding, now it is thirty seven. Still, certain percentage of saving is reduced. But if you do what? If you are doing the highest value, considering for each and every sample, definitely the number of bits will be increased, and sometimes no compression will exist over here. So this is how you can explain the concept of lossless predictive coding. you must note down this thing over here percentage of saving is reduced in the in comparison to previous case percentage of saving is reduced in comparison to previous one but you can explain the whole concept even if there is a problem of overloading as well topic for the next video lecture is lossy predictive coding thank you so much for watching this video